Hello and welcome everybody to my new video, first video of 2021. Happy New Year everyone, belated Happy New Year, belated Happy Merry Christmas if if for some reason Christmas is in January for you. Merry Christmas, belated Merry Christmas. So, that being said, welcome to my first video. It's also in honor of One Piece reaching a thousand uh, chapters in the manga in celebration that I'm releasing a uh, One Piece discussion video and for my first video this year. With that being said, this get this this video is about the Yonko, so there's gonna be slight spoilers ahead of ahead. So Yonkos that I deem to be strong stronger or the strongest based on strength, their physical strength, their Yonko Yonko territory Yonko territory, their influence and their curious strength, like the the alliance they have. So, with that being said, let's get on with the rankings, shall we? Like I said at the very at the intro of my video, Yonko's strength has a multiple a multitude of factors. Those are how large their territory is, like your Big Mom's top land, and there's a there's a lot more territories for Big Mom because Fishman Island is actually also a former territory of this. Because aside from top land, there's a lot of territories of Big Mom. That's probably the largest landmass by far of a Yonko territory because it's a full-on country. But I I digress. It's also influence, which is Whitebeard definitely has the best, the has the strongest influence in the world because of course he's the one and only rival of Goldie Roger, and most kids actually sing a terrifying, a pretty terrifying song about him. Like he's a freaking household name in terms of infamy in the One Piece world, and there's also. The actual crew strength, which by far the one that I actually have for that is Blackbeard. I feel like Blackbeard has the strongest crew because of the fact that he's gathering more devil fruit. And the final is the combat ability for the crew. Of course, Shanks is gonna be racking at the lowest here because we don't know the proficiency of how he fights. I do believe that he's definitely one of the strongest fighters I uh, strongest because just because there's there's a lot of Mr. Aaron strikes but for now we'll rank him low low in this list because of the just because of the mysteries in in him so without further ado with that being said I would actually rank Shanks the lowest here with would rank lowest just because we know so little about how large his territory is, although presumably we we do know that that that, that he does own he, that island he was introduced in was his territory. I I think there's also that territory from Bartolomeo's cover story, which Bartolomeo stupidly attacked. Yeah, so we know so little about his territory, of course. Um, Backman is Backman definitely has some strength in him because he was able to paralyze K Kizaru. Yeah, hmm. Possibly even Last Island. I do have. I do like the theory. I do like the theory that. Uh, I do like the theory that Shanks. Shank one of Shanks' territory is above because of the the. Similarities of them, like the Shanks ship is kind of looked like looks reminiscent to a Viking ship, and then the whole the whole Norse mo motif for the giant is actually just kind of reminiscent to that. Connect, just connect the dots there. So I do like that. We c he could and definitely end up to be one of the strongest in the end of One Piece. So. And as for combat strength, I mean, he was able to stop Kaido, stop Kaido 
from going to war against white with before the marine for dark so that's something there and he was able to also scare off Blackbeard from the marine for dark to stop the war so but for now since we know so little about his territory and his influence and he's relatively new to the Yonko to the Yonko to, as a Yonko so we sh we're gonna rank him pretty low with that being said let's go on to our next one it's gonna be Whitebeard <coughs> Whitebeard would be the next to rank the next one Whitebeard was able to clash with Roger and Odin so that automatically makes him stronger than Shanks physically I mean and then he has more experience in his belt as well as as and, and with the notoriety notoriety of being a former member of uh, of the rock crew along with Big Mom and Kaido as well so he has an influence there a lot of influence there as well so a lot of that are infamy gain infamy there so Odin was hmm back in his prime wait, yeah, he was able to clash in his prime with Odin and Roger Odin was the only one who injured Kaido and he did I think I think it was at some point that Kaido and Whitebeard uh, clash a couple of times as well so I'm not sure which chapter that was I should have looked at one first but for now since we're racking Whitebeard past his prime at this point we're just gonna be racking him next to Shanks because I do think that Black uh, Kaido and Big Mom at this point in the anime is actually a lot stronger than white beard and then and even at a young age Odin was one of the strongest samurai this is a little bit on Odin's background as well in my in my script here so that's this for his combat ability and yes the division commanders with all of his allies actually revealed to be former members and former commanders of his crew there's also his influence where ch even children knows about white beard like they sang songs for songs with him songs about his infamy as a pirate his hmm, how terrifying it can be like that, that's like world building for before the marine for dark basically although not really much not much is revealed in his territories but it is revealed that it's quite it's not really like one solid uh territory like big mom like one country or one country like one mainland so to speak like what what kaido has with wano or the totland totland with big mom it's just more spread out that's more on his influence kind of side yes a fairly huge crew with the top one with Ace of the second division and Marcos the first division which makes sense because Marco is the doctor and has a failing health during the Marine for Dark so having your doctor close close by is kind of a smart move on white bridge part. For for now I digress with that. I'm gonna be lot I'm gonna be ranking Whitebeard fourth in the strongest Yonko or former yeah Yonkos in the overall One Piece. Next would be Blackbeard. So let's transition on to that one. Blackbeard is the next one, the third one in my rank. Uh yeah. But the reason why Blackbeard is stronger than Whitebeard is of course. He has two devil fruits, we know that. And he has roughly the same structure of size and roughly the same kind of crew structure and size as White Beard's main crew. Plus, he has he's been gathering a lot of devil devil fruits since the time skip, like since the revenge war arc, Reve revenge war against the White Beard, White Beard pirates. It's roughly the same size and structure. Plus, the devil fruits that they've been gathering since the time skip. The only difference is 
they have more notoriety thanks to Blackbeard causing that whole ruckus and of course his infamy as part of the worst generation as well since they came from Impel Down like their kiss crew came from Impel Down level 6 the daughter yeah the notoriety of that alone is kind of terrifying to the masses as well and one of the jail managers is including is included in that roster of of his crew. In addition, Kuzan is with them. Of course, Kuzan presumably is theorized to be a spy for Sword. So yeah, it's I feel like that's definitely the case there. But Kuzan is probably a spy. Yeah, a double agent for the Navy. As for territories, he took over majority of Whitebeard's territory, with the exception of with the exception of Fishman Island. Fishman Island and hmm, the the uh, Sphinx Island, the one that Marco is protecting. Chris, I'm actually kind of glad that he didn't take over. He didn't took over Fishman Island because, ooh, Blackbeard with Shirahoshi. Ooh, he will definitely use Shirahoshi as a weapon of some sort, man. Like, if he discovered a black, a uh, Shirahoshi's, Shirahoshi's power he could def that could definitely uh, be troublesome for Luffy there. Like, thank good, just thank goodness, man. Like he didn't force a Shirahoshi, or he didn't he took over Fishman, and he didn't force Shirahoshi to Shirahoshi to awaken his powers. Like that's just kind of troublesome for me, in my opinion. So he get okay, with where are we now? And debate, wait. It, yeah, it has a stronger crew than Whitebeard and his gathering devil fruit, and so he's definitely stronger than Whitebeard at this point, and de probably debatably, uh, arguably, Shanks. But again, we don't know about how proficient Shanks is with Isaki. For all we know, he's stronger than Blackbeard at this point, right? Since Shanks is even shaken up by him, I, I have a misspelling there. Ooh. I have a misspelling there, so let's erase that. The reason why I do not think that he is stronger than Big Mom and Kaido is number one, his over reliance on his devil fruit. I'm not sure if yet he unlocks hockey yet. Number two, he's kind of reckless, and he he at what at some point he's sometimes he's like this genius schemer who like uh, orchestrate this whole war to steal Whitebeard's White Whitebeard's devil fruit, and yet on the other side, he's like stupid enough to walk into Magellan's poison. Like really, like, if it weren't for the fact that Shiryu is right there. He would have died <laughs> seriously. He's arrogant and reckless. Who just walk yep, he just walk in to Magellan's poison man. Presumably he has hockey. I feel like he did, he I'm not sure if he has he unlocks hockey though. So not sure on that one. But he's not shown using it yet. I don't think he has the same level of master of his devil fruit than Big Mom and Kaido because it's fairly new to him as well since there are more there are more experience in using their abilities so that's it next will be Big Mom my second ranked Yonko so let's fade in let's go f transition into that one Big Mom is next in terms of territory Big Mom definitely has a lot of territory under her and the largest as well Alone, Thotland Th alone has 35 island and ter with territorial sea slugs that warning that warning waves whenever whenever someone enters their territory without permission or invades the territory when enemies invades not to mention with Big Mom's Devil Fruit she can essentially create unlimited spies to ar around her like that devil fruit is kind of useful for spying to, with people. Mm. 
a limited she can create a lot of yeah, I'm just editing my script here <laughs> her fighting force are main her fighting force in, on her crew this wrong spell it there on her crew that comprise of three sweet commanders category smoothie cracker and cracker they serve as big mom's strongest officer originally there were four sweet commanders but Uruj fa but following Uruj Uruj took one down snack second are the officers excluding the three sweet commanders 74 out of them are big mom's 85 ch children are officers of the big mom pirates four of them Perispero, Compote, Daifuku and mm, and Oven are noted by Vita as monster while the rest of them are not Big Mom's children and and three of them oh wait, mm, and three of them are noted to be as strong are Montdor Opera and Galette. Combatants. Next are the combatants. They have. They are members that specialize in fighting and specialize from specialized missions from Totland. The rankings for the combatants following pieces of a chess game kind of reminds me a little bit of the evil pieces system of high in high school decks they which is I'm a huge fan of I should probably continue more of those series I do have a lot of videos in high school DXD I, I do have two discussion videos on high school DXD I feel like I will also link those in the description below it's yeah discuss mm, system Okay, the female nicks are the subordinate screw that are that are tied through political marriage, kind of like how Beige is tied with marrying through marrying Chiffon with the Charlotte f family, and one of the fighting forces are the homies created by devil by. Uh, Big Mom's Devil Fruit. Kind of like a, I do love that Devil Fruit it creates a limited armies. Or the soldiers that are created from Big Mom's Devil Fruit, yep. And by taking a portion of the lifespan from Totland's inhabitants and implanting those in inanimate object, plants, or animals, giving them human like traits. Yeah, that's homies. In conclusion, Big Mom has a higher mastery of devil fruit because he had she had it longer than blackbeard a larger territory a larger more systematic territory and a larger crew soldiers and alliance although i still think the shanks are have more stronger have more have a lot more stronger Crew than Big Mom because because of the devil f because of Blackbird gathering more devil fruits and of course Backman pa scaring Akizaru like that's definitely a factor there so which makes them stronger than Blackbeard Whitebeard and Shank so for me Big Mom is stronger because she has a higher mastery of her devil fruit he has a more systematic a larger crew than Whitebeard. I feel like he has just more larger territory and larger crew and more structured crew as well. So that's just good for me. And not to mention, he has two years ahead of Whitebeard. It's that in terms of strength, and I feel like she's also a lot younger than Whitebeard. Are they the same age? 
think he, she's definitely a lot younger than she's younger than Whitebeard in that regard. So for me, Big Mom is definitely stronger than Whitebeard. Let's and lastly, let's go discuss the main man of Wano arc, Kaido, or the Wano saga, Kaido. So let's transition into that one. Lastly, in terms of crew strength, territory, and as an individual, Kaido is definitely the strongest for right now because I do still believe that Blackbeard will end up to be the strongest at the end of One Piece. So I'm gonna hold my hands on that one. But for right now, it's Kaido is the strongest. Wano is a strong, is strong enough to stay de independent from the world government's control. So, with that fact alone, that's a good t territory to rule over in in Wano. So, it's strong enough, and it has natural barriers as well. It has an isol isolationist policy where even the act of leaving the country or contact through outside through the outside through outside the country is a crime not to mention the samurai strength is unknown to the world government so they're kind of afraid to attack them and in general they, they all it's also there's also natural boundaries which will take uh take the world government uh, exceedingly a lot of resources just to take over Wano alone so for that I feel like it's definitely a strong it's not as big as as Big Bump's territory or as widespread as Black, Blackbeard and Whitebeard's territory but it's definitely stronger than them because it's it has a natural barrier both politically and physically it's, yeah that's definitely a perfect territory to have for a Yonko right there. Yeah. From, from alone. One of the, the natural barrier and guarding the borders. The only way is through a waterfall or a hidden cave. And that actually that was shown when when Apu was coming into Wano as well so yeah it is a country that is exceedingly difficult to invade as for Kaido's crew the beast pirate it's roughly 20,000 strong with Kaido as the governor general and the structure is the all-star king queen and Jack of course it's kind of arguable at this point that Queen and Jack is actually stronger than Marco because they they were having a hard time against Marco in chapter 1000 spoiler alert so and that to mention it was it uh, Jack is also injured by the Minx the like Kevin in during the during the war right the raid at Onigashima so I'm I think they're definitely gonna they're definitely going to get back up to fight and gonna be a challenge later on the start but for it's kind of arguable that they're stronger than it's arguable that they're stronger than Marco if they're having that much of a hard time against him. So for now let's leave it at that. Next is that Toby Ropo, the group which X Drake is a part of or later abandoned because he was discovered as a traitor but for the sake of the anime only watchers I'm not gonna reveal the names of the Tabiropo so for that yeah this, I'm just gonna leave x in there now there's that group that x is formerly a part of so the headliners mm, and Sheep's Head, Hawkins, and etc. So that's how I think uh, Holden is also a headliner. There's also the Gifters, the Pleasures, the, the, this is essentially the Foot Soldiers, and the Waiters, Subordinate Crews like formerly the Drake Pirates, Honor Pirates, and the Hawkins Pirates, and finally 
uh, which is previously uh, they have five including the Korozumi family and Don Quixote they have connection for the Korozumi and the Don Quixote family as well as one of their prominent alliance and now the most prominent is the Big Mom Pirates as their alliance so formerly Korozumi and Don Quixote and now just the Big Mom Pirates so they they're now combined right All allies together so for now that's going to be my ranking for uh, six is gonna be my six truck is going to be Shanks and then Whitebeard, Blackbeard, Big Mom and then Kaido as the strongest for for right now at least but I do believe that as time goes on Blackbeard is eventually gonna surpass both Big Mom and Kaido as well eventually because I do feel like he's he, w he would want to take both Kaido and Big Mom's devil for like but Blackbeard would definitely want that as well because they are, they are devil fruits that the Yonko has like the two powerful individual in the uh, the two most powerful pirates in the one in the One Piece world has so I feel like he definitely wants to gun for that one for those devil fruits as well so with that being said let's end the video here and that's it everyone for this One Piece one Piece ranking, Yonko rankings video of mine. Who do you guys think is the strongest Yonko based on crew, crew size, territories, and as an individual? L please let's talk about that in the comment section below. And please also s support me in the in my social medias, which is going to be linked in the description below. There's also two playlists right there on that side right there on your screen. One is One Piece discussion videos playlist, and then it's also the High School DxD one, which is for the ch for the Evil Peace system, which I did last year, I believe. So please click those, check those out, subscribe right there, the cir the little circle right there. Yep, just subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> yeah, for more anime and otaku related content and gaming related contents eventually so without further ado you guys see you in the next video see you in the next discussion video